If you have power, you use it. People in debt become hopeless, and hopeless people don't vote. Choice depends on the freedom to choose. And if you're shackled with debt, you don't have the freedom to choose. But I think if the poor in Britain or the United States turned out and voted for people who represented their interests, it would be a, a real democratic revolution. And so they don't want it to happen. And so keeping people hopeless and pessimistic. See, I think there are two ways in which people are controlled. First of all, frighten people, and secondly, demoralize them. An educated, healthy, and confident nation is harder to govern. And I think there's an element in the thinking of some people. We don't want people to be educated, healthy, and confident because they would get out of control. <laughs> the top 1% of the world's population own 80% of the world's wealth. It's incredible that people put up with it, but they're poor, they're demoralized, they're frightened. And therefore they think perhaps the safest thing to do is take orders and hope for the best. No, no.